I had a misread. All, all it falls on me. That's my fault. I'm pretty good after that, what you say? Yeah, we had great communication. Everybody played pretty good as a unit. I felt like that game kind of solidified our secondary. Uh, everybody kind of came together in a, in a good way and had great communication. Dion called Eddie the missing piece of the secondary. You think he, he filled in pretty well and that could be a long-term thing? Yeah, it, he, he filled in perfectly. Having Jarek and uh, Dion back was a huge part of it too, but fit, putting Eddie in there and uh, letting him get comfortable and getting him that one pick kind of gave him that confidence booster that he needed and he played unbelievable. Also proud of him. When, you, when the wide receiver comes on a reverse but then goes back to throw, what, what is what is the DB supposed to do there, and, and did you guys all? You know, he did everything perfect. He jammed the guy off the line, stayed uh, depth in the divider, and uh, he threw one right to him, and he was he got the pick. And it, was, it was a great momentum swing for us. I know you've jokingly said that HaHa doesn't like to hit. He'd rather get an interception, but what, were you impressed with the hit he, since the old miss got head over heel? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, coming down uh, 17 yards away from the line of scrimmage, fourth and one, stopping them on a jet sweep on the outside. Is, is unbelievable. And that we were joking around after the game, but it truly is. It was a Mark Barron play and a Mark Barron type of uh, performance from Haha uh-huh in the game. Can you describe the art of an open field tackle in a moment like that? What do you think of when you see somebody in that situation? You know, you got to use the sidelines. You got to use your uh, body position to take away certain cutbacks and everything. And you never want to overrun anybody. You want to have your head across so they don't get any uh, push or uh, any extra effort yardage. But, uh, you know, everything was perfect for him. He took his legs out and kept him from getting the first down, and that was a huge momentum swing, too. It's about making them make the move, first move, and not tipping your... Yeah, it's almost like the Mighty Ducks. Make them make the first move. <laughs> and, uh, play off him and what he does. So, you know, they, uh, Eddie had a great open field tackle, um, and HaHa had an unbelievable one on that first, fourth down and one. Vinny, after the targeting call, uh, it seemed like the defense had a chip on their shoulders just sitting at home watching it. Yeah, uh, no, no, we had a chip with the whole game, and uh, we, we came out there to prove something, and, you know, uh, CJ said it best after the game. The scoreboard talked about it, or showed up. We talked with our helmets and not anything else, and we were just really excited to come out there and play as a unit and uh, do the things that we wanted to do on the field. What does he mean in this defense, CJ? He's he's the glue. You know, he, he calls out all the calls. Uh, him and Trey are up front, and uh, having CJ up there is kind of like that uh, – Protective shield. You know, if you got CJ up front, you, you're gonna be okay. What did you see from him on that on the last fourth down stop where he tipped the pass before and after the play? Yeah, he he read it perfectly. Um, we we brought some pressure, uh, kind of narrowed the, the line of sight for Bowen. He, he he locked into that guy. But Jarek Williams, even if CJ wouldn't have tipped the ball, had perfect coverage behind it. So you know, it was a great play all around. We brought pressure. Uh, CJ tipped the ball. He was right where he needed to be, and then Jarek had great coverage behind it too. So you know, it was a great defensive stand. It seemed like he was a little like extra animated after that play, though. Yeah, it was it was right after uh, the little extracurricular uh, stuff had happened. So you know, he was he was really excited, and uh, it was a great play by him. We seen him that fired up like that. Yeah, I've seen him a couple of times. You know, he, he he's really passionate about how he plays, and that make, that's what makes him such a great player. A guy that didn't get a lot of credit but makes CJ go is Ivory. Uh, talk about his performance. Yo, he, did, he did a great job. He had a batted ball. He had great tackles. We, we really did control the line of scrimmage up front and uh, shut down all their gaps and uh, controlled, controlled the running lanes. And, you know, I think we had, like, what, 25 rushing yards at the end of the game given up. And they're, they're a great offense that runs the ball really well. And to do that and make them one-dimensional was huge. Good. So all the credit goes to the front seven. Right, the the kickoff yeah. team, kickoff and punt return or coverage, I mean, how much pride is in that group? You know, we, we practice every day. We focus on that. Coach Saban says practice like you want to play, and we hustle downfield every day and want to make sure that we never give up any plays in uh, practice because whatever you do in practice rolls over to the game. So, you know, doing doing those things right and getting full position is always huge. What's the what's the most difficult adjustment for a true freshman in this secondary, you know, when it comes to editing? Communication. That's what, we, that's what we've harped all week last week was communicating, making sure that he gets the calls and understands what – what he has to do, because as long as he knows what to do, he's going to be able to do it. He's really talented. He's he's really focused on what he needs to do as a freshman. He's he's, he's a great talent, and him being out there is really good for us. Does the way y'all felt after the Colorado State game kind of ensure that help y'all prepare for this one, focus-wise, come out? Yeah, we don't want to be sleepwalking this week. We're, we're excited. We want to keep the momentum rolling. You know, we want to build off this win. It was a big win, but, you know, we got to move on from it and get uh, keep progressing, keep moving forward. Is that more difficult to do when the fans aren't involved as in the game? Because you guys got a ton of fan support against Ole Miss, and you kind of fed off of it. 
when the fans aren't as in the game, is it is it tough to stay up for you guys? Yeah, you know, the fans should be in for every game because you know we only have a certain amount of them every year, and it's not like basketball or baseball where you have a bunch of home games and a bunch of away games we're able to go to. But we get four or twelve games a year, and uh, you know every game that's a home game, everybody should come out and bring a lot of enthusiasm and excitement because I mean we're going to try and do that on the field every single game. 